Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for April 2018. This is for Virgo Sun Moon Rising or Venus. So please remember this is a general reading. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. You can check your other signs to see if um, it resonates for you there. Um, sometimes the messages do um, resonate. Sometimes they don't. And the reason for that, I feel, is that uh, it's just not that area that you need to be maybe focusing on at this time. Um, for instance, if you are Virgo in Venus, or, or Venus in Virgo, um, which would be about relationships and partnerships, um, and it doesn't resonate, maybe um, check your moon sign. Uh, maybe you need to take more of a look at your emotions uh, or your sun sign for your, just your overall general um, things going on in your life. So I just feel like I wanted to say that to you guys, and I don't want to talk too much before I start your reading. I'll just say real quick, if you want to get a personal reading from me, just go to my website, moonpietarot.com, and you can purchase your reading there, okay? So I'm just doing a little shuffling here of that card. I did already place your cards, and I wanted to show you. The bottom of the deck, you have the page of, of cups here. So I do feel like you will receive or be sending out, it could go either way, messages that could have to do, uh, these could be love messages. You might be hearing from someone that you haven't heard from in a while, or maybe someone you've been waiting to hear from, or it could just be some type of message that comes through for you that is just infused with innocent truth and love okay some of you could be hearing from and just remember that the love reading <clears throat> it doesn't have to be about romance romantic love romance it could just be about um, our loving relationships that we have um, but I'm feeling with this card in an overall sense <clears throat> this could be, it could be someone who might be a little bit younger than you, if this is uh, whoever that would represent for you. Could even be younger, even by a few days. Um, but as far as love goes, you know, they always say love doesn't know of age. Um, so if there's someone who's reaching out to you who's younger than you, um, maybe try not to base uh, or think to yourself that the message they send you is invalid because of the age, okay? Um, sometimes this can be a card of someone who tries to sweep you off your feet. It doesn't have to be someone who's younger, but they could have just like a very um, innocent way of expressing their love to you. Um, I do feel there will be some type of message for you during this time frame. Now let's take a look. Your past position, you have the Six of Wands, so there may have been some type of a victory that you felt or that you had in the past, at any time in the past, recent, long distance past, whatever it could be. The Six of Wands, I feel some of you maybe got something that you were waiting for or you received something that made you feel really good, uh, something, a, a sense of being proud. I just wanna clarify. So the Three of Cups here could have had something to do with a family situation. Uh, some of you may have sisters, that there was some type of uh, victory. Maybe some of you had a kiss and make up scenario with some sisters or some family members. There may have been a celebration. 
that proved to be victorious. Some of you may have recently become engaged or at some time in the past that was very celebratory for you or someone close to you. It's about family, community. There could have been a birth. Maybe you had recently or at some point found out someone close to you became pregnant or you yourself found out about a pregnancy, but I feel like it, it was it was good, it was nice. Even if there were other things going on in your life that weren't so great, I feel like this situation was very pleasing to you. And it's interesting because your present card is the Empress. And so if it was you that recently found out you were pregnant, April is like you being in your element with that, okay? A new beginning, a new start, feeling like, almost like for females, feeling like a goddess, or if you're a male listening, this could be how you're viewing your Virgo or your your person. As she is just full of, love and enlightenment and luck and birth and beauty and all of those things that encompass that, okay? So this could also just represent a situation that's happening that may have happened in the past that now is coming into the present where you just have this sense of all is feeling well. And it's challenged, it's crossed by temperance. It's in the upright, so there's balance here. Um, and it's a benefit. Whatever the situation is, is bringing peace and harmony to you in some way. So it may not, if you're not the one who is having a child, it could be another person that you're connected to that is bringing you a sense of balance and well-being and happiness. Now, some of you may have had someone from your past, like an ex, that you may find out that there's a pregnancy for them. And some of you may just have this energy where, you know, I'm happy for that person. So it could be that going on as well. Um, if it's you, there's just still, like I was saying, this. It there is some somewhat of a challenge to balance things out, especially if you're a single mother, if you're female. <clears throat> there may be a little bit of a struggle to try to maintain peace and harmony, uh, because maybe there's a financial struggle or something of that something to that degree, but again, it's in the upright. So I feel like it's, it's, it's all will be well is how I feel the energy, the love that you're putting into your life is balancing out and, and coming back to you. It's good, like good karma. And also it could be too, if you're dealing with a pregnancy, it could be you finding it a little bit challenging to try to uh, keep yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically healthy, okay? But it's a benefit for you to do that as well. And again, if it's someone else, like say an ex that you find out that they are having a baby, it could be a bit of a challenge to keep yourself at peace with that. Uh, but it, again, it's a benefit for you if that situation has happened for you to work to try to keep the balance about that, to try to be in peace and be in harmony, to not feel resentful. Well, I'm not telling you not to feel resentful. You feel however you want to feel, but to try to acknowledge how you feel and try to find a way to be at peace with that. That's what I meant to say, I don't mean to tell you not to feel anything. Um, so there's a little bit of that that's happening here. Now the page of wands is driving you. Another uh, messenger card. 
So I just want to find out what exactly there could be a message coming for you and what exactly, or it could be you maybe wanting to send a message. Okay. So for some of you, I, I do feel like this could be a past situation with an ex or someone that you find out about a pregnancy or a marriage or birth or something like that. You may find yourself wanting to reach out to that person and saying, you know, best wishes that could drive you almost as almost as if a message to let them know that you're at peace with this situation. Okay. Um, even if you're not, you may just want to send your well wishes, you know, um, this seems to me that it's a necessary transition. There's a bit of fear involved in this, but it feels like a necessary transition for you that you need to let go of someone from the past that has already let go of you. Okay. If this is not the case, because that's, there's several different messages, um, and it's you, uh, starting your life over in some way. For some of you, if this is someone you're connected to, that's you find out about a pregnancy, you may want to reach out to them and maybe tell them that they can come stay with you. If they're a single mom or if they're not, it's just two people together, family situation, you may open your door to them so that you can offer help. So there could be some type of movement or travel. Um, if that's not the case, and this doesn't have anything to do with pregnancy or birth, I feel like there could be an opportunity for you to, um, if you've met someone, there could be an opportunity to move it to the next level where there could be family um, up to uh, an opportunity to build a family with someone. Okay. It could be a little bit of a struggle. There may be a distance between both of you. <clears throat> Maybe both of you live far away from each other, but, or whatever the, there could just be some type of distance in the sense that, uh, maybe you just don't get a chance to talk a lot, uh, or, or something that kind of keeps you both separated from each other. But I, there could be someone that may send a message to you that they're coming to see you and that they want to further a relationship with you. Okay. They could be in this place now where they're viewing you as someone that they could have a family with, or they're viewing you like the empress. Okay. So there's, they're a bit of a challenge to try to meet halfway to some degree. Okay. Your thought, what's crowning you is the four of wands. So that's the marriage family commitment card. So that could be something that's on your mind at this time. Like maybe you are ready now to go the distance or do that in your life now with someone in particular or just even if you're single, to go in that direction. And some of you could be dealing with an Aries, okay? Um, if you're not, then this would just represent structure in your life, uh, realizing that you do want a happy, healthy relationship, a happy, healthy commitment, something that's on a firm, stable foundation, even domestically where bills are paid, you have a nice home, uh, there's security, okay? Uh, there's a feeling of being empowered like the emperor, okay? Or this is the other person that is now ready to provide that for you. And they're thinking, this is someone that I can be with. You know, so your future card here in the near future is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is effort, I see. This is working hard, already having looked at the situation 
and now putting that work in. Okay, so that could be that the other person, the person, your person, who are you are involved with or someone coming into your life that expresses to you that they want to have a committed relationship or they want to have a happy family or they're ready to have children or things like that, whether they have children or not. Maybe they want a child with you. Okay, and so it's very positive, this effort that's being put in look at that effort and see is this person that they, they could even be starting to open up to you if they weren't in the past, you know, maybe just a bit more or things begin to be exposed. Like all this effort and work brings this positive, open, warm, loving energy. Okay. So I, I just get a sense that, I mean, there's several different messages that are occurring here. I didn't pick that card up because it didn't fall upright uh, or flipped on the other side. But just know that if it's meant to come out, it will. So I see um, definitely energy, a lot of positive energy coming to you in the near future. So sometime in April, maybe closer to the end of April, where someone's really making an effort. Or, you know, it's you too, or both of you, where you both realize, okay, let's, you know, let's do this. I just want to clarify it again. Okay, there's so much ahead. There's so many options, so many more choices now that will come. You know, it's like you follow this straight line just to go after this one thing. But once you get it now, all these doors begin to open and there's decisions that need to get made now. So whatever your situation is that you are in with this person, there may be a decision about, you know, moving or um, setting up home or um, whatever it could be, whatever decisions need to be made to solidify this relationship. I see the effort being put in on both sides. Now the hermit is in the position of you and your advice, which is your card. So yeah, I see you just kind of like really reflecting and also advice for you to absolutely do that and asking yourself, is this really the right path, you know, or uh, with the two of wands, asking yourself or saying to yourself, reflecting about the progress, progress to be made, can it be made, can it work out, uh, can we both do this, you know, uh, looking forward to the future and seeing what's out there, making plans for the future. Um, and, and so your advice really is to reflect deeply about the situation that you're in with someone. And uh, even if someone it's someone new coming in, uh, make sure that this is what you want. And um, look at the situation also from like a logical point of view. In other words, okay, so we've established that we care about each other, but how are we going to do this now? How are we going to live? How are we going to manage? If there's a birth or a pregnancy, how is that going to happen? Or, you know, questioning, reflecting, looking forward to the future, being sure, being aware of what you want, uh, knowing which direction you would like to go, regardless of how you feel so much, combining your thought process with your emotions Okay. And even in the case of, is this is someone you're attached to who's having a baby who uh, is part of your family? It's also um, being supportive. I'm feeling supportive energy and, um, you know, asking yourself, you know, how can I help these people to do what they need to do? And, and in the case of this being an, an ex that you find out there's a pregnancy, um, still focusing on your own life, you know, giving them the blessing, even if you don't do it 
straight out because for whatever reason, maybe you can't giving it to them within your heart and then focusing on what it is you need now so you can move forward in your life. Okay. I feel like you, the effort will be made for you that the work that you put in to stay focused on building for yourself will bring you many options to choose from, especially if you're single and you, if you've had a recent, someone from your past is no longer, and now you're beginning to build on your own life, the more you do that, I see all these doors beginning to open for you, more opportunities, so many that you may even have trouble deciding which to choose or which direction to go, but that's okay. Um, just having them is beautiful. Now, in the position of what's external to you, so it, whatever it may be, family, friends, a lover, you have the knight, they have the knight of pentacles, which is surrounding you. So there's another offer that's, there's an offer that's coming through, not another offer. It's the offer, you, you'll you receive something of value. Now, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, the queen of cups is here. So that could be male or female, because it's a general reading. Um, doesn't have to be, but mostly it could be. So the Queen of Cups would be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. But the Knight of Pentacles, again, as most of you know, is a slow-moving energy. This is not someone who jumps in like the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Cups where they're just so aggressive with their emotions. The Knight of Pentacles takes on this steady trotting type of energy where He's heading in, it's kind of like the turtle and the hare, you know, um, both of them have an end goal. Both of them are trying to reach the finish line. The hare is just very aggressive and he just jokes around and goofs off, but his intention is to go in that direction. Whereas the turtle is, he's slow moving and there's always that saying, it doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you keep going. So I feel like the person that you're dealing with has that energy where they're just not the type to jump, but they are moving forward. They are always progressing forward. Um, and this person I feel like is very responsible, could be very financially responsible, um, and is willing to work to uh, overcome any type of issues in the relationship or, you know, even if this is someone new coming in for you, um, or it's just the energy that could be surrounding you. You could have someone, if it's not love in romantic love, there could just be someone who is encouraging you to keep plotting or keep trotting forward. Okay. That there's, it's not a race to just remind you, um, that you're making progress in your life in which, in whatever regard that could be. Um, and even too, if you are looking for new love, um, I feel like this card signals that you need to maybe vary your routine a little bit. Um, you could have been, for an example, uh, maybe you're always going to one particular place and you just say, well, there's always tons of people here. Why don't I ever meet someone? Well, maybe you need to change up your place uh, or go to a different place. You know, uh, change up your routine in some way, okay? Because I feel like if you keep doing the same thing, you you might get this feeling of, of being stagnant and not progressing, you know? And you do sometimes need to change things up so that you can get out of this stalled sense the stalled energy, you know, if it's like they say, and me and my analogies, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and you'll still get the same results. So sometimes you need to change up your routine and you could have someone who could be helping you with that. Okay. Um, and I was also feeling that if you're dealing with someone close to you, who is pregnant or is having a baby, um, the energy is definitely surrounding you to be as supportive as you can. 
with this person, even though it will be a very slow process. Um, of course, as birth would be. But I'm just feeling the Queen of Cups, even the King of Cups, is very supportive, and especially as a female, uh, nurturing, okay, but male or female. So there's just this nurturing person who's around you, um, male, female, love relationship, friend. It could be a counselor. Some of you could be seeking counseling, uh, a mentor, or someone who is helping you to progress, um, and it's also the energy of that person as well. Now, your hopes and fears. Here you have the emperor again. Okay, so again, that's Aries. Okay, now you could be dealing with someone who's not an Aries, but they could have that somewhere in their chart. And so some of you are hoping for stability. You could be hoping that things will be real with this person or that it would just, that they will bring stability to your life. Um, and also fearing too, that this maybe sometimes this person can have a little bit of less emotion, but they're more, um, someone who is just really just about business, you know, making sure that, bills are paid or things like that. And that could, that could also just be your energy as well. So it really just depends, but there's an energy of structure here in general, where there's a sense of um, fearing that things might come crashing down or that you won't be able to, um, there'll be a lack of stability, but hoping that that will continue. Okay. And usually with the hopes and fears, I just kind of just say them, but they're your hopes and fears. And however you choose to manifest them or is up to you. If you want to manifest your fears, they'll come true. But if you want to manifest your hopes, they'll come true as well. So it really just depends on how you're attacking things in your life. Your outcome card is the 10 of pentacles and strength, which is beautiful. Um, so of course, some of you could be dealing with Leo. Some of you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo um, or dealing with someone who's got that fiery energy. But the Ten of Pentacles is telling me there's stability here. There's going to be some type of abundance. There's going to be some of you maybe receiving money to some degree, like maybe a small fortune um, that will help you to feel that you are that maybe you can now go in, a, you can go in the direction of confidence, okay? But there's some type of stability, maybe even in a relationship, that gives you a sense of, you know, it's stable and it's structured, and because of that, it, it's able to propel you forward, okay? That you feel that sense of confidence, so that you are in control of things that that you're capable of being in control of. Um, so that card, as far as like love goes for a love reading, um, I feel like there's this element of moving to the next level, maybe living together or engagement or marriage, and then childbirth can come up. Um, and there's a feeling of peacefulness and a happy period in your life. Okay, whether you're with someone or not, it could be someone coming in and, and you know, as I was saying, expressing their love to you at the page of cups, and then, you know, giving you that, that the go ahead, okay, we can go ahead and do this, okay, and trying to figure out how to do it, but still having that go, you know, and um, I just feel like for those of you who are single, that they're there's a sense of something new coming into your life in April. Um, and I feel like this, you know, this person, um, they will kind of make your head spin a little bit, <laughs> either forward or in reverse. It really just depends. Um, maybe because they are slow going in a sense, you know, and especially if this is someone that you've been dealing with for a long time, um, it could be, it, I'm almost feeling like if you've been dating someone for a long time or you've been in a relationship, a really good, healthy, 
relationship with someone and you really want to take it to the next level, they're just kind of slow and you will, you'll be called to be patient. <laughs> Absolutely. You will be called to be patient with temperance and that card is in that, as I said, the challenge position. So it might be a little difficult for you, be a little difficult because maybe you're like, oh gosh, can we get on with this already? You know, um, but fret not. I feel it, it's very positive. Um, and there's going to be possible messages about travel or movement um, in some degree. So I just feel like Virgo for April, you're going to have a forward movement in your love life. Okay. Whether you're single or in a relationship, there will be some type of forward movement. I just, I'm so happy for you. And I know some of you have been having a hard time dealing with certain people. Um, and even if this is, you know, if you've recently had a split with someone, I'm still seeing forward movement in your life. Okay. You know, I guess like in a sense of healing and, and, and all these beautiful things, you know, I just feel like if, if, you know, there's this energy of you putting in, if you're single and you're just like not with someone right now and this, and the energy of the eight of pentacles is showing here where you really start working hard on yourself. And I know a lot of you have been, but I just feel like really getting to the bones of things and really reflecting and asking yourself, which way do you want to go? Where do you want to progress? I just see all these doors opening for you. So I'm going to pull a card for advice from the Romance Angels deck. Um, before I pull that, I just want to remind you once more that you can get a personal reading from me at my website, moonpietarot.com. I just changed my whole website around. So, um, it's, there's a lot of cool tidbits and links and stuff to help you uh, on your journey. And if you would like to check it out, definitely, definitely go and check it out. And there's a page there to book a reading. I actually condensed the readings a little bit. So um, if you have any suggestions for me or on my website, definitely send me an email and let me know. Or if there's certain reading you would like to see, um, you can let me know. Okay. So that's at moonpietarot.com. So your overall love advice here, there's chemistry, a strong magnetic attraction to someone. Okay. So you and someone that you are with, there is strong chemistry between you. And I think you already know that there's also a good chemistry between uh, just you and another person, whoever that may be, if that's a family member, someone that you're very close to. Um, but I don't think it's like, it's not like mag magnetic love attraction to like a family member. But in the, in the case of love, um, yeah, this is someone that you're dealing with. There's a past life relationship issue with this person where you've known each other before. So this could be some type of a relationship that, um, you are learning things from each other. It could be karmic in some way. It's meant to be. And I feel like whoever it is, this reading is about as far as love goes, you feel it to your core. You know who this person is. You know that this, this is someone that you have business with that is just not going to end. Now, in terms of if you're dealing with I know there's a lot of you that have relationships with people, I'm sorry for the blur, where there may have been, maybe somebody wasn't treating you right or things like that. Um, it's still a past life relationship. There's something that needs to be learned. There's a lesson here from your uh, connection with this person. Does it mean that you're together forever? It does not. But there's some type of lesson about yourself that you have to pay attention to right now, especially in this month. Okay. Something to do with, even if you're meant to stay together, 
Okay. Or there's a, a bit of back and forth with this person. There's something about the connection that is helping you grow and you may not even realize it. You may be more focused on, um, closing one door and opening another or holding on to this person for the mere sake of holding on, but there's something deeper. Okay. The world card is here. Um, some of you are dealing with someone in online relationships or who are at a distance, but the world card is saying, as I was saying, there's a cycle that's ending. It doesn't necessarily mean there's a relationship that's ending, but there's a cycle in the relationship that is now moving to the next phase. Okay. So either you're going to initiate that this month because you've been reflecting and you're looking at what you want now, or, um, another person is doing this, but there's something that's changing in your life, Virgo deeply, and it's going to affect your life from here on out. So really deaf, I really would just feel like pay attention to April or pay attention to lessons that you need to learn or things you need to do. And, um, look out for some of this energy that could be happening for you. Okay. So I'm going to end your reading there. Many blessings to you. And I hope that you have a wonderful month and I will see you guys in May. All right. Take care. Bye.